I have no idea if the audio is working or not, but 5.30, it started to tinkle. I uh, got the GoPro batteries charged so I could use it. I have never signed in to the GoPro bullshit and created an account. I've always done it as a guest. Now they're requiring me to sign in. Well, I can't sign in when I don't have an account. But they don't want me to make an account. They want me to go on as I am. That's fine. So, <laughs> batteries are charged up for nothing because my phone won't connect to the GoPro. Therefore, I can't use it. That's the interesting thing about GoPro. Ah, you can hear it on the roof now. Or maybe not. Maybe there is no audio. I have been through all the settings on my phone. I just did a restart because I didn't think about that yesterday or last night. Well, I maybe by some miracle the restart made it work. Cows are still out there. I think they're enjoying themselves. Maybe the audio is still working. I'm just trying to get you some color. And apparently the cows don't want to come in to eat. And that really sucks because there was better color over there just a minute ago and it's gone. Oh. And poor Red Man. I think he's missing somebody this morning. I did feed the dogs. And I told him that I know he's missing whiskey. Where'd you go? Thing about Red Man, he likes to hide behind me. He will sneak up behind me and I won't know he's there. And he looks a little lost this morning. I don't blame him. So, yeah, now the driveway's getting pretty well wet. It ain't raining hard, it's just here. I mean, what's here so far isn't going to soak very far into windrows, but if it does it all day, it will. I got here and saw our little friend. He was right there. He got a little limp on the front, but it looks like he's actually out there getting stuff. And there's no safe shot because the freaking house there, there's one there. God knows how many others. Say hi, Grandpa. Good morning, Blakely. No. What do you mean? No, it's not a good oh, morning. Oh, I that saw that. I saw the little shiver. She takes out her binky this morning. And goes, <laughs> hey. Hey. Blakely. Blakely. What do we see? I don't know what we see. Oh. She's getting another teeth around the top. I saw oh, yeah? Morning. More teethies? More teethies. I know what she might see. Ty? Yeah. For those of you that don't know, Ty has a gift that could be a curse. She sees those who are no longer here. And uh, we've kind of That's found out straw. that her niece Blakely does too. I think. I think. Uh, yeah. Hi. So who's here? Can you say great grandpa? Great grandpa watching over you today. He was watching over us yesterday, too. Had a hawk flying pretty close and making sure we were doing the right thing yesterday. And fucking three buzzards, too. Yeah, the buzzards were out. But buzzards are weird this year. They've been, like, by themselves, loners. And, hey, I hope the audio is still working. <laughs> well, I got about four miles from the farm and had to actually turn the wipers on. see much over there and that's where I'm going. Uh, we'll see how it is. Hopefully my audio is still working on my camera too. That way you know what I'm saying. Oh, and here. Look in the mirror. Go give me some feed. I got lucky. The, nobody came in for feed this morning. 
so I didn't have to feed the yearlings. And I'm not sure there was enough left to feed them without packing it across the barn, and there's not a whole lot left in it, in the toads either, so. Anyway, kind of a chill day, I guess. Go do what I gotta do. And maybe get something else done today, too. Maybe get the freaking break broke loose, I don't know. That one's still pretty much boggling me why I can't get a little broke loose. There's your joint. That's the only one that's left. They've always trucked their fertilizer in. And outfit we used to deal with. Well, still got an account there. It's behind this lot that's empty. That was nutrient. Close that one down. Now the next one's like 50 miles away. Of course, it have it. Used to be a railroad to make sure you had to stop for it because they got theirs all by rail. And I'm assuming maybe that's why they closed that one down was because uh, no more rail. And they deliver fertilizer up into Washington, like 50 miles across the river at least. It kind of makes you wonder. Now they got a lot farther to go. Oh well. I think I came down here to see if we had any friends in that box. I stepped over the gate, reached over, and I gave that three little taps on the lid. It took about a half a second for them to come out. And those are not paper wasps. Those are yellow jackets. This could be fun. Apparently we're not going to put irrigation in today. I mean, I watched it for a minute. I'm thinking, I don't see any bees. We're good. It's probably just cool enough that they don't want to be out. Yeah. I guess I come back later and cut the twine that holds the box shut. That's why we got it fenced around. Years ago, they replaced the pole. The pole used to be out there. And, well, you know, high water is not so bad if it gets over the banks, but when it rides right at the top of the bank, it just scours the shit out of everything. And it literally scoured the pole out. And that's where they put it when they replaced it. I don't know if they put a shorter pole in or what they did. Well, obviously they did. Either that or they just went deeper in the ground. Because... That box with the twine around it used to be at eye level. I literally sit on the ground to wire it. And I have a hard time reaching it then. So I got bee spray with me, but I don't know how bad I want to go kick that door open right now. I was too slow. Somebody was sniffing my butt a minute ago. Oh, what they're doing. They'd be chilling. And yeah, I'm still here watching the bees. I tried to get Ty to go in there and open that door, and she says, oh, oh hell no. no I can see the oh, now she just noticed it. Hold on. Fuck you, buddy. Yeah, yeah. She gets narrow-minded, and she's going to walk away. She don't want nothing to do with them. Look at this. No touch. <laughs> now she's trying to tell the cows, no leave, touch. leave my pew pew alone. No touch. They don't understand that. Better watch out. One of them probably pissed off at her. There ain't no sense in grabbing them cans now. You're going to have to open that door if you're going to stir those cans in there. Otherwise, it ain't going to work. So don't even. No, they'll get done later. They're, it's not yeah. very fucking we, warm out. I know, but there's too many of them that are out right now. Let them get calmed back down, and I'll get back in there, and then come out here and take a wire or something to open that lid. And then spray the piss out of it. Just don't hit the top wires. Top contacts are a no-no. Metal can, liquid. Yeah. No, no. The twine cut. The nest is not attached to the door. But that box is one-third full. 
they they've done a good job I'm guessing where we put the cord into the bottom of the box I'm guessing is where the uh, main opening is into their nest while I was waiting for them to settle down after I tried to cut the twine the first couple of times even my sharp knife took four tries at doing it I went over to those pipe and I wasted just almost a full can of raid on the paper wasp nests that are in the end of the pipe I think I got all of them nice thing is they're close to the end so you don't waste a lot you just hammer them and go to the next one but yeah Hi, we're gonna wait. Ty thinks we ought to just spray her right now. I don't think so. Let him get in it. Ty got convinced me that we'd hit him now instead of waiting until later. They calmed down pretty good. There's one right on top of the nest crawling around, but he's crawling in raid. And uh, that stick happened to work out just right. That stick didn't go in until just a minute ago, by the way. And she's gonna take her stick. Don't knock the lid down yet. And see if she can get that shit out of there or get stung doing it. Number two, we got it wrapped around this. Yeah, I know. That's they wrap around everything. And uh, she's safe at the moment. Fuses are out of it, all the power's up at the top. Fuses are out, switches closed. They didn't go up above. If this is our fun this afternoon, I'm still not going to touch any of that till tomorrow. The fuck no? Might, might even bring some soapy water down and do Go to hell, off. She's always got to be so mean to these little critters. I don't know why. You gave me a bumblebee and a honeybee on five. These other spicy little assholes suck them. Yeah. Just yellow and black flies. They're spicy little bitches. I don't do spicy. Anyway. Yeah, probably end up, don't knock the wires out of those okay. holes because I don't want to have to remember which way they really went. And that's about the end of what we're going to do today. Hopefully she's going to knock the stuff off the lid, which wasn't much. Still isn't much. Maybe we'll just go get some feed bags dumped while it's not raining. Anyway, that's how you do that. They actually calmed down pretty good and went in. And whoever's wondering, right there. That's the only thing we found that actually gets the nest. What Whatever eggs are in the nest will not hatch. And whatever's alive in the nest will be dead. Other stuff doesn't seem to get the eggs.